Last count, Corla. Minister, the gaming industry is growing exponentially uh, before us right now, and there's plenty of concern around the potential harm, in particular to young adults, uh, around the area of loot boxes and mystery boxes. Um, the, reportedly, $30 billion uh, was spent on loot boxes in 2018 alone, and um, the gaming industry is predicted to have a value of $160 billion by 2022, and 47% of this will be uh, generated from microtransactions such as loot boxes. Um, it, we obviously need improved regulation. Just in relation to your ongoing work on the gambling, gaming and lotteries bill and the um, gambling control bill, can you outline to us maybe the department's view on loot boxes? Is it considered a form of gambling or an e-commerce activity? The deputy will be aware that I have previously addressed the issue of loot boxes and whether they can constitute a gambling or an e-commerce offering. To offer gambling products in Ireland, Las Cancola, and gaming, to be, as defined in the 1956 Act, is covered by that. A licence is required under either the Betting Act 1931 to 19, uh, 2015 or the Gaming and Lotteries Act 1956. While the Minister for Justice and Equality has certain responsibilities under both of these Acts, the Revenue Commissioners are responsible for licensing authority under both Acts. In the context of video games, if a game sought to offer an activity or, or items for purchase that would fall within the current Irish legal definition of gambling, then the manufacturer of the game would require a relevant licence. To the best of our knowledge, no manufacturer sought such licensing by gambling regulators in Ireland or in other EU member states to date. However, if game offers in-game purchases advertised to increase the chances of success in the game and do not fall within the current Irish legal definition of gambling, such pur pur purchases are essentially an e-commerce activity. This would fall within recourse to normal consumer law, where there is, dis is, dis is dis uh, dissatisfaction on the part of the customer with the purchase. However, one might regard in-game purchases and how they uh, may be marketed. It must be clear that they fall within the legal de definition of, of gambling activity to engage the regulatory attention of my or other departments responsible for that regulation. This is a position which is shared by other EU member states. I have been made aware also of these so called mystery boxes, that, as I understand it, items offered for purchase through internet platforms such as YouTube and so on. I am advised that they appear to be in the nature of looky deep type purchase and such do not come within the definition of gambling. Thus, my earlier comments regarding the requirement for a gambling licence also apply in this instance. And the Deputy just bring to his attention and the House that Ireland, through the Department of Justice and Equality, was happy to lend its support to the recent declaration issued by the Gaming Regulators European Forum. Uh, concerning the blurring of lines between gambling and gaming. The declaration reflects concern among uh, national authorities that gaming products like such as video games should be appropriately licensed if they offer gambling possibilities within such games. The directive is intended to indicate to the gaming industry that concerns uh, expressed by several states that certain player-to-player -player gaming products may, in the context of in-game purchases, fall within the category of gambling as defined under national laws. The declaration does not have any legal effect, however, but Ireland will continue to cooperate with other member states in this matter. I thank the Minister for his response and uh, acknowledge the, 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 our role in the joint declaration um, uh, from European regulators. The Minister, we have very popular games like Overwatch. Uh, when you purchase a, a loot box in that, the box starts shaking on the screen, there's flying discs, there's a final reveal, uh, and it's all des uh, designed to heighten um, the appeal. And it's very much like watching an element of Winning Streak programme to me. Um, you know, the Fortnite programme, uh, 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 Fortnite game, which is also hugely popular. In, in the Save the World game, uh, they have blind loot boxes. Now, Epic have said the system will be replaced by an X-ray system, um, and so at present they're brightly coloured pinatas and they're cracked open with potential to win in-game goodies. Um, they're going to have X-ray pinatas now, so that um, our, our llamas, so that you know before you purchase what's in them, and, and that definitely is to be welcomed. But the University of York, St John, and the University of York came together to do a very extensive uh, so study on 8,005 500 gamers, and they found a direct link between um, adults who have issues of problem gambling uh, and those um, the amount of activity they spent on loot boxes. And I think that is something to be um, very conscious of here. They recommend that um, you know there is a loot box restriction, uh, and that at the very least the player's gambling age. Um, you know, is like it is for all other elements of gambling, and that to restrict access so as to treat it like a form of gambling. I think that's something to be uh, to be borne in mind. One minute. As I said, that, that was one of the reasons why we um, supported the uh, declaration, as I mentioned earlier. But can I point out as well that parents have the primary responsibility to protect their children in regard to the purchase and use of video games, particularly those played online. And the declaration referred to. It above will serve to alert parents of potential issues and costs involved and to permit them to exercise greater control over purchase decisions. And the fact that the deputy raised this today again hopefully will highlight this uh, amongst parents that they need to be vigilant about these matters. Um, 
the, the, these uh, activities are currently regulated um, under the um, Video Recordings Act 1989. Video games are exempted works for classification purposes unless they fall within the terms provided for in sections 31A or B, which covers the ground for the prohibition of works. Ireland is part of the Pan-European Game Information System, which is a European-wide rating system with regard to video games. Um, the director of the Irish Film Classification Office is on the council of the, this uh, Pan-European Gaming Information uh, System. Um, so, again, it's not normal, I understand there's no normal practice for the Irish uh, Film Classification Office to view video games which are rated as 18 plus to allow the Director of Film Classification to form an opinion as to whether such games fall within the terms provided for in, in, the, in the Video Recording Act of 1989. <coughs> Minister, I thank, I thank you for that response again. Ultimately, I raise this for two reasons. One, to try and influence um, our view of regulation as we amend the upcoming bills in relation to gambling. But two, to also raise and heighten awareness among parents of their responsibility. We have children at 10, 11, 12 years of age playing these games, many times up in their bedrooms where without that parental control and parents maybe not fully informing themselves of the elements of the game that's really important. I do want to highlight, though, countries like Belgium, Netherlands, Isle of Man, China, Japan, Australia um, have all treated loop boxes and mystery boxes like a form of gambling. Um, there's 15 other areas uh, where regulators are investigating and um, this, and one of those 15 is actually the US Federal Trade Commission where they're ex investigating pay to win and gameplay systems. And I think, you know, it's incumbent on all of us, absolutely there's parental control there, but from a regulator's point of view, I know the issue of problem gambling is something that comes in under the Department of Health, but the regulation on, on justice side uh, is, a, is a very key starting point as well. If somebody is susceptible to problem gambling, this is a very bad way to start as a young adult. Uh, and I think if there is ways we can restrict that um, and, and make our young uh, adults safer in terms of the gaming oh uh, that they do, I think we have to take every step to do that. Minister Staunton. And I want to thank the Deputy for raising this matter and, um, and uh, congratulate him on his interest in this very important matter. It is important here at first to uh, children being possibly groomed uh, by using these games uh, and then going on to be, in, into gambling. He's correct as well uh, last year in, in talking about um, the people with a problem gambling and addictions that's responsible for, a, for the health authorities really there as a health matter. But certainly we ha he did also make pr uh, reference to the um, group that we established to review the main provisions of the 2013 Gambling Control Bill. This group gave particular attention to considering the, uh, the structure of the proposed author regulatory authority, having regard to the decision disregarded by the government on the 10th of January last, um, in the 10th of January 2018. The group considered governance and logistical practicalities to the establishment of the regulator. Other issues uh, considered by the group include the future licensing of gambling activities, including gaming arcades, machines, lotteries and casinos, combating possible money laundering through gambling, improved protection of consumers and vulnerable persons, the approach to be taken to advertising sponsorship and the promotion of gambling activities, and match fixing in terms of sporting events. Um, Deputy is right, last year, in saying that this whole area is changing uh, by the week. Every time we look at this, there's a new game, there's a new approach, there's a new way of making money, of um, enticing people to get involved. And that's why I'm anxious that this uh, gambling um, control authority be established as soon as possible, so that they, and they would have the flexibility to keep up with this. Can I, 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 I